New right now at six, faith, family, and football. The three came together in an unexpected way for one North Carolina athlete. A promising career almost cut short, but now he's getting the second chance he's been dreaming of for years. As the sun rises over Greensboro, North Carolina, Garrett Hall is already on a football field. I don't wake up at 4 a.m. for no reason. I don't go 100% for no reason. To truly understand his reason, you'll have to look to his past. It wasn't just a sport to me. It's kind of a way of an escape of life. After graduating from an Asheboro High School in 2012, Garrett came here to Matthews to play a semester of football at prep school. At schools like NC State, Coastal Carolina checking me out at the time. But prep school was also more than 70 miles away from home. Just something in the back of my head um, made me feel uneasy. I think the reason I felt uneasy is because maybe I knew something was coming. July 15, 2012, the day that changed everything. Garrett and a few teammates ended up at a house on Timber Top Lane in Charlotte. We stayed in there for about two to three, maybe five minutes, and we noticed that we really didn't want to be there. So they left, but not before the person who invited them stopped to talk in the driveway. And we stood there for maybe two or three minutes talking to him, and then, um, then I heard a scream. Garrett found himself in a crowd rushing away from the house as gunshots flew through the air. One teenager died that night, two others shot. Garrett realized he was one of them. I took three steps. I remember specifically three steps and my leg gave out. He was all alone in an unfamiliar place with only his thoughts. I thought I was going to die. Eventually help arrived. Garrett needed surgery on his leg. Doctors told him he might not walk or ever play football again. But as he laid there in his hospital bed, he decided this wasn't the end. I didn't want to let my parents down. For the next year, Garrett rehabbed, not only to get back on a football field, but to prove everyone wrong. And he got a call from Greg Crum, the Greensboro College head coach who wanted Garrett on his team. For him to bounce back and be here today, number one is a blessing, uh, but number two, to be able to play the sport that he loves as hard as he plays it is amazing. Now at 23 years old, Garrett's a junior in the classroom but a freshman on the field. You know, everything that everybody said, you wouldn't ever play again. The doctor said it was physically impossible. I did it, and all that hard work I put in it finally paid off. Garrett got the Hawaiian word for family tattooed on his forearm. He says God and his family are what got him wow. through this journey. What an story. inspiration. Yeah, exactly. Incredible story.